Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor hearing this from you. I've, oh, no. I've seen your work on television. Oh my God. Throwing hammers. Oh my Congratulations, of course. Let me just make sure. We good? Do you want me to back up? Just make sure we've got you. No, I'm just all up in here. You know, that's okay. No, no, I appreciate it. Cameron, how are you this evening? I'm doing great. I'm here. How are you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. Um, in terms of legacy building, obviously you have started to build your own and a gold medalist for Canada and, and one and a sport that we had not won yet, I believe, if I'm correct, at least as a woman. Yes. So talk talk me through what's next for your own legacy building and how are you feeling right now? Oh my god. I mean it still feels kind of like a whirlwind. I competed about almost two months ago now and I feel like so much has happened just in those short I guess couple of months but it's just been amazing to connect with people like go home see my community my family and meet a bunch of really incredible figures here and I mean it takes it takes years of foundation building and resilience in order to make events like this happen and to have so many amazing people show up and support one another so it's pretty incredible to be here at my first legacy awards and how do you handle like the burden of a legacy but as, as a sportsman as a woman it's so many different intersectionalities wh how do you handle that on the daily and with like mental health and all of the things going on that in, or surround us in life I okay so I feel like for me it kind of goes back to one of my favorite quotes which is pressure is a privilege I think there have been as I said before just a lot of really amazing people um, and individuals who have been trailblazers in their respective fields and interests and passions and for myself I just want to I don't know like just watching so many people like as I grew up knowing that it was possible seeing what people were doing and just going out there and living their dreams like I think for me it's it's the being able to show people like you can be here too like when I was younger I remember watching the London Olympics in my grandparents house like on my nan's carpet like <laughs> in the living room and seeing so many of our Canadians out there just achieving their Olympic dreams and that for me was what inspired myself for the first time to really sort of see the Olympics and imagine myself there and so it's it meant the world to me and so now hopefully being able to do that and reconnect with so many other people just showing them like this is this is possible and if you're passionate and you have amazing people behind you beside you it already is the most important part Amazing. And last question, you've achieved not only black excellence, but excellence on a global stage. How, how would you um, give any advice to anybody who was looking to break that standard mold of black excellence, black legacy, but just being excellent? Ooh. I, mean, I feel like it really goes down to, it really comes down to just passion, finding a way to find something you're passionate about and be able to give back to everyone else. I think the more that you can connect with so many other people in your respective, I guess, not just sport, but in your respective interests and connect with them. You help build each other up and you help support one another. And that passion carries you so far, I think, especially knowing people give up so much and people make so many sacrifices. I mean, my family's made so many sacrifices in order for me to be here. It's just knowing that there are people who are excited to see you go far and do well and be your best self. So I think it all comes down to just letting your passion be free and being able to showcase and share that with others. Thank you so much, Cameron. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. I literally I love you. I'm so obsessed and I saw, I saw you win. And I was like, my, but like, I was like, this is a dream. She's so amazing.